Good morning friends. Welcome back to my channel. This is Becky and I'm here this morning to do a tag. I've been tagged by a good YouTube friend of mine, Windowpane, and um, the name of the tag is Being Positive. And it's a short, cute little tag. It's only six questions. And um, I'll start off with number one and it says, Name three things that you're good at. I think I'm good at cooking. I don't cook a lot though. Uh, you know, I, I cook maybe twice a week or we just mostly just sort of fend around for ourselves. But when I do cook and I follow a recipe, I'm good at cooking. And uh, I love trying out new recipes. And uh, when I follow them just right, uh, my husband says that the meals are just great. So, uh, according to him, I think I'm good at uh, cooking. Um, the next thing probably I'm positive, I mean, I'm good at is um, finding things for my husband to do. I can keep a honeydew list going and keep him busy if he do them all. Uh, it's one thing to the other from uh, just helping me out with my cats to bringing in groceries and uh, just all, all kinds of little things that I get him to do. I'm real good at keeping him busy doing little things for me. Uh, so, I guess you could call that being good at something. And, um, let's see, the next thing I'm positive, I mean, not positive, uh, good at, uh, I'm gonna say is, uh, I kinda thought over these, so, so I, wouldn't be just dumbfounded on here not knowing what to say I'm good at. But I think I'm good at cleaning house. Um, I must be because I love to clean house. Uh, people can't believe that I like to clean. But I do. I enjoy sweeping, mopping. I'm not wild about dusting. But keeping things in place, I try to keep everything has a home. And I try to keep it there. So, uh, I think I'm good at uh, keeping my house clean, cleaning. And let's see what the other one, the question. What YouTubers inspire you the most? What YouTubers inspire me the most? I like Lady W. She inspires me. We have a lot in common. We're from the South, both from the South. And uh, we seem to like some of the same things. So she inspires me a lot because she's a good woman and she, she really responds back to your uh, replies in a good way. And um, I just like her. She's just one YouTuber that I really am inspired over. Um, I'd say my next one was um, Wenda Payne. She's the one that has tagged me and um, I am inspired with her. She dresses so pretty. She has on a pretty wig. She, she wears wigs and she has a nice collection of wigs. And she's always looking too spot on. I mean, um, jewelry to her makeup to her outfit. She matches and uh, that really inspires me with her. She'll have her earrings and her necklace match. And uh, and I like, they're, they're big and they're outspoken and I love her jewelry. And, uh, I love seeing what her friend Linda sends to her. She has a wonderful friend, 
I don't know if she's on YouTube or not, but I know her name is Linda. And she sends her gifts, and I love seeing what she gets from Linda from time to time. So um, she inspires me. She's a kind woman, too. She's very kind. And so is Lady W. Um, I'm inspired by another YouTuber, Louise Gardner. Uh, I've been watching her for a long time, and I just love her sense of humor. I love when she giggles, kind of laughs. She's real funny there, and um, <laughs> I just like watching her. She's a beautiful woman, and uh, she has, a, I guess, a New York accent. She's from New York, I believe, but I love to listen to her talk. And um, I would say those three YouTubers inspire me the most, since I have to name three. Well, you can name as many as you wanted, but I've got those three. Um, let me get back here to my, where I can read them on my phone. Uh, three things that you are excited about for your future. Oh, that's a good one. Um, of course, number one is my grandchildren. I can't wait to see how they turn out if I'm living that long. I, I'm just anxious to see how they grow up to be and um, how they are in the future. Um, my next item would be, we've got a rental house that we've been trying to sell for so long and so long. And we think we might have a buyer at the end of this year. And I am so looking forward to that and hoping that goes through. Um, like I say, it's, we've, we've had it for sale. It's a larger home, a more expensive, and they are hard to get rid of. Uh, if it was smaller and let, not many square footage to it, we probably would have already sold it, but it happens to be a larger home and uh, quite a few square feet to it, so it has been for sale, oh, I guess five years, yeah. And like I say, we've got, we've got someone renting it and they may, they're renting it with the uh, right to buy and uh, they, they said they're going to buy it, so we shall see. And I really hope they do. Um, another thing I'm looking forward to in the future is in January, we're going back to Hawaii. And I can't wait to go. I love it, but we're going to Maui this time. We've been going to Honolulu. And I'm just... Oh. I love Honolulu, and I'm not sure how I'm going to like Maui. Um, I, I hear it's completely different than Honolulu. So this will be our first trip to uh, Maui, and I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, we leave in January of next year, and um, we'll stay for a couple of weeks, and um, I'm excited for that. The next question is, your positive quote. What is my positive quote? I always like to say, bloom where you're planted. And I've had to use that quote for myself a lot of times because I miss my southern home. So I just have to keep telling myself, bloom where you're planted. So, I love that quote. And number five, say something positive about your body. <laughs> something positive about your body. Hmm. I guess 
I would have to say my eyes. I get a lot of compliments on my eyes. Um, I'm assuming it's the eye color. I have green eyes. And maybe after I've put makeup on my eyes and my eye makeup, they they look pretty decent, I guess. So that must be what it is. So I'm going to say uh, it's my eyes that I'm most positive about on my body. I can't think of anything else. And then the last question is, what do you do to relax? <clears throat> um, I go out to the front porch and swing on the swing. That's what I do to relax. I don't stay there long because I'm fidgety. I can't, I've got to be doing something. I'm moving. Got to be moving, but uh, I guess that's, that would be what it is. Let's go out on the front porch to the swing or the rocking chair. And usually my four cats are out there. And that really brings me happiness. So uh, going out to the front porch and swinging makes me relaxed. So that's all of them. That's a pretty simple tag. Kind of get to know me at a little more personal level. And um, I enjoy doing this tag. And I thank Wendy Payne, Wendy, for tagging me. And I'm going to link her channel below, and I'd like it if you go check her out. Uh, she's a fine lady, and I think you'll enjoy her. She has a little uh, chipmunk, and it, the name is it's Monk Monk. And they roll her around on the floor on this little ball. And sometimes when she's showing, a, I don't know, somehow, sometimes you can see the little thing rolling around in its ball. It's so cute. Just all of a sudden, just a little ball rolls by with a little chipmunk in it. So, um, I think you'll like her, and I'm going to link her below. And I'm going to tag some people. Let's see. And I'm going to tag uh, Free to Be Me Barbie. And I'm going to tag um, Lady W and see how they do. Uh, I'm anxious to, if they'll, if they'll do the tag, I'm anxious to hear their response. And um, so, it's been real fun doing this and uh, I hope everyone's having a great day. It's Friday here. Uh, of course, it's Friday everywhere. I'm sure it's. But it's 10 o'clock. And I finished all my house chores. So I'm going to go probably work on my quilt. And uh, I want everyone to be uh, friendly, kind to one another. And uh, see you on my next video. And thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye now.